So in this video, I want to briefly go through the main strengths of Atlas TI over in Vivo. To demonstrate that uh, at the moment, in 2024 and beyond, Atlas TI is a far superior data analysis package. Hopefully the things I discuss in this video will help you decide, but if, if they don't, and you're still not sure after you're finished watching, feel free to send me a comment, put a comment under the video, and I'll try to respond if you have any other questions about any of these software packages. When compiling the list for this video, I chose a combination of features. Uh, some of them are uh, specifically directed uh, to some people like myself who do it professionally, who do data analysis professionally. Others are for first-time users, so something with uh, those people in mind who may uh, have not done data analysis or used such uh, software packages in the past and they are not sure which ones they should choose, for example, for their first ever data analysis project. Now, if you've been watching my content for a while, you may actually be pretty surprised at seeing this video and the title of it and me talking about Atlas DI being superior because I've always been such a great fan of NVivo. In fact, I have numerous uh, videos about NVivo. I have multiple courses about NVivo. I teach in universities about NVivo and I use it and I still use it for many of my projects. So, of course, I still believe NVivo is an incredibly useful and powerful data analysis tool. It's simply that at the moment, considering the, the factors, the, the things and benefits and advantages of Atlas TI that I'll review in this video, I simply believe that Atlas TI wins if you're trying to decide which software uh, to go for. I'll be recording more detailed and in-depth analysis and, and videos about Atlas TI features in the future, but here are just the key arguments why Atlas TI is better overall. So the first one, and this will be something that's underlying much of the other arguments as well. So overall, Atlas TI uh, is clearer, clearer and more user friendly. So this clarity and layout and user friendliness is overall something that definitely makes it a better choice, both for people who are more seasoned researchers and definitely for those who are first time users. Now you can definitely manage to make a case for the exact opposite. When you first compare the layout of both of these packages, you may easily argue that it's NVivo uh, that in fact has a clear layout. And, and finally, and ironically, the layout of Atlas TI for years has been something that I assumed to be something less user friendly. But this is just because I never, never gave it a go, never gave it a chance and never actually tried to experiment with it for a while. So at the very first glance, it may appear that NVivo in fact is even a little bit clearer. However, what happens once you start looking for things is that you quickly realize that unless you know where exactly to find things in NVivo, you may find yourself struggling to find these things. I've been teaching about NVivo for years, and again, for me, it's not a problem. I know where things are, but from communication with you, with my students, with my audiences, I understood that it's not always as straightforward as it may seem for a first time user or somebody who's not as experienced. You simply have to know where to go to find things. And in Atlas TI, it really took me literally a few minutes to explore things on my own and know where things are. So by right clicking and double clicking and exploring different menus, it just feels much more uh, intuitive, much more uh, user friendly, like I said, and just clearer and more obvious where to find things. And like I said, this will be underpinning much of the other things I want to discuss. So things that are simply more uh, user friendly and attractive visually and, and at the same time more efficient in Atlas TI. This may include, for example, if you have any experience with coding, with data analysis, you know there is a thing called merging. In NVivo and in Atlas TI and both software packages you can do that, but in NVivo you have to know that you want to merge. You have to make that decision. You have to paste and uh, as you're cutting a code onto another and then pasting onto another code, you need to choose the option to merge here. In Atlas TI, and it's a, it's a little thing, it's a very subtle difference, but you simply paste it the same way, but then you get uh, the choice whether you want to paste it as a code that will appear lower in hierarchy or you want to merge it. And it may seem as, again, a subtle thing, not something very important, but again, it's important for both first-time users who may simply not know where to find these things and people who do it professionally, who, who spend, like myself, a big uh, part of their day the, uh, doing data analysis. So every second, every minute, every decision counts. And I will do everything I can to save time coding. So even this whole thing is absolutely brilliant. And there are many other things in Atlas TI that are in a similar way, just convenient and quick, and they just make sense. So 
for example, encoding, which in Enviva, again, you kind of have to know how to do it. And many people asked me over the years about encoding. They can, can't find it. They're not sure how to do it because you have to, uh, you have to find the code. You have to find the quote. You have to deselect it, basically select part of it and then find the code and then encode. So lots of things. If you've been using Enviva, you know what I'm talking about. Here in Atlas TI, you simply select uh, the selection uh, to be coded. And then if you want to encode part of it, you simply select it, you simply drag, use your mouse, uh, your mouse button to drag the selection and just uncode it quickly. It just makes sense. It's just quicker. It's, again, it's just user friendly. Uh, then this leads to a couple of things that are theoretically on paper that are there in vivo again and in vivo again, but in practice, they kind of, they've never worked as, as uh, they are supposed to be working. So this is about, uh, for example, changing the code colors, which is not what you think it is in NVivo because it's not really useful at all. In Atlas TI, you can quickly change the colors. It makes the whole coding structure just clearer, easier to find things, and so on and so forth. It just works. Uh, same thing about the comments. So something in NVivo that exists on paper, but it's actually finally something that I've always told people to ignore uh, because you don't need that in NVivo. You have to know where to go to find that comment that you made about, for example, a code. It's just not convenient at all. You don't want to waste time to go into that comment section where you can actually find the comments. Here in Atlas TI, you can comment at any point. You can create a comment. It's just right there in front of you all the time, and it will be in front of you. If you later look at the document, for example, uh, where you commented, straight away you see the comment. It just makes sense. Again, it makes sense. It makes it efficient. It makes it very clear. And on a very similar note, a uh, uh, thing about visualizations and charts, and bar charts. Again, they're there in NVivo, they're there in Atlas TI. However, in Atlas TI, you just see them, some of them straight away. You can go, of course, level up, you can create more complex analysis, more complex visualizations, as you do in NVivo as well. Uh, however, in Atlas TI, you just see some default visualizations straight away as you're going through your document uh, manager, so where you store your transcripts. Straight away, it creates some default, some basic visualizations, which is a great thing because you don't have to know where to go. You don't have to have ideas for for specific visualizations. It's just right there in front of you, which may result in maybe some ideas that just come into your head just because you're you're seeing these things constantly. So I like this option. I like that you can you're constantly exposed to these visualizations. And finally, on the same topic of clarity and generally better layout, it has to do with. Uh, all exports, so coding exports, exporting different, exporting different elements of your project. Again, it's there in NVivo, of course, but I just like it better in Atlas TI. Just better layout, more clear, and just user friendly again. And it's something that's not just my opinion. It's just something that I've been hearing over the years from students. Uh, the exports in NVivo, and I've been using these exports for years and years for all my projects. But it just doesn't, it just doesn't look as good as the exports in Atlas TI. And also in Atlas TI, just again, it's quicker, it's better, it just makes more sense. And I like the exports much better than the exports uh, from NVivo. Now, another aspect that's obviously very important and is also definitely very user friendly as compared to NVivo is the price itself. It's obviously such an important factor, especially if you're not affiliated with an institution that provides you access to one software package or another. I think we can all agree that NVivo's price is absolutely ridiculous and out of this world. Um, nobody, unless they have access, institutional access, uh, can actually afford this uh, software or be happy about making that purchase. So uh, here, of course, Atlas TI wins all the way again. Not only is it just more affordable, they have uh, several flexible packages. What I like in particular is that they have an option to pay monthly. And this makes a huge difference because again, uh, I'm sure you'll agree it's just easier to pay monthly rather than be paying for, let's say, full year or the full license in advance. They also have some other flexible options such as just paying for the web app, the web version of the app, which again, for most projects should be enough, especially if you're a student, uh, as well as what I already mentioned. So being able to pay for one or two months is so much better if you're a student, because most of you will probably only need it for a month or two or three months rather than forever or for a year or a couple of years. And in addition, since I'm now using this software, I do have access to discount codes. So 
if you want to reduce the price even further you can use the the code that appears on your screen now uh, to reduce the price by 20 percent or just click the link in the description it is an affiliate link which means i do get a commission for it as well but it's still a win-win situation because you also get 20 percent discount also included in the price for the software is uh, support live support which is absolutely amazing another thing another uh, aspect in which Atlas TI is definitely superior to NVivo. NVivo support is far from perfect, and I've and just not just my opinion. I've heard that over the years, they do tend to respond eventually, but usually it's very delayed. And then it depends on what you're asking. So uh, basically, if if responding to you is also in their interest, they will respond. Otherwise, quite often they just ignore the user. Here, Atlas TI offers uh, live support 24 hours. So once you paid for it, you have full support which is so important especially for new users if you don't know how to do something where to find something they're always happy to help and finally what's also included in this uh, price is the software that covers different devices and this is also a game changer for me so if you're if you've paid for a windows device for example pc windows device but then you decide to upgrade or change your devices or maybe you have another macbook or something you can use the same license so you can move the license between the devices uh, as opposed to in vivo where uh, that's it if you've paid for your windows uh, device your windows license uh, and then decided to change to a mac or maybe you're using mac at work it's your problem not theirs so basically again you have to pay again and this is uh, as i already said the price is ridiculous you have to pay it again so so that's a big problem and a big win for Atlas TI again. And finally, last but definitely not least, because this is the option that uh, completely blew my mind. Um, both packages have some AI built in because what doesn't these days? Uh, but uh, the way it works for Atlas TI is, ju is just absolutely amazing. I was so impressed. And so what it does, it communicates with OpenAI. So it's using that engine, OpenAI engine. If you know, if you've watched my content before, you know how I talked, for example, about using ChatGPT for data analysis. It can be brilliant, but it requires close monitoring. You're close monitoring and you can never know what exactly is happening. So you don't have full transparency. That's the problem with either ChatGPT or any of these brilliant AI tools out there for data analysis. Uh, so that was always the problem. Uh, here, they obviously overcame this problem, this barrier, by using the same engine but give you this whole structure so basically what happens is that you can there is this completely free ai option basically so ai does your coding not something i would probably use or recommend but feel free to play uh, around with it but what i do like is this so-called intentional ai which means that you have certain goal in mind you have certain questions in mind and you ask this ai or or atlas ti uh, to answer these questions. So it's kind of a combination of both of your uh, agency and your input and uh, the AI, the AI uh, functionality, which I absolutely love. So you're still in charge, which is something that I like, uh, but you can just explore your data this way. You can ask your questions and then basically what it, what it does, it gives you back the suggestion for the codes, the coding structure that it will create based on your questions. So just like you can see, on my screen now, um, I, I just want to find out about the challenges that uh, this multicultural crew, fishing boat crew uh, faces. And it's giving me these suggestions as well as other suggestions, other things that I can explore. I can decide to use this or not use this, but basically it's asking me if I want to proceed. If I'm happy to proceed, it will continue to code the data. I absolutely loved it, uh, this option because, because it's so powerful, because it's, like I said, using this open AI functionality which has been so far definitely the most advanced uh, tool uh, all, of all of these uh, so-called AI tools for data analysis. So this is it for now. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did. Uh, put your questions in the comments. If you have any more questions, I'm happy to go and explore for you and, and provide you with answers. Uh, let me know if you're currently using any software or you have been using Atlas TI. I'm always happy to uh, to hear your input and your comments and opinions.